Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And in this episode, I'm standing in a slightly different spot than last time. Why? Because I forgot where I was. Anywho, in this part, we're going to start a new confidant, but we gotta get there first. So, since it's raining outside, let's do some studying. <sighs> if that last fight didn't put us to sleep, this definitely will. <laughs> like, seriously, this is our reward? Well, I just beat up a shadow. And almost killed all my friends. Better get some studying in, but no, we gotta do the entrance exam. I was finally doing it, yes! We have dexterity high enough, or I mean, you know, proficiency. Move his fingers around with his pen. Ah, oh, I didn't know it was at level three. Has he been doing that the whole time? I don't know, couldn't tell you. That Kaneshiro truly was an evil stain on society. Same with Kamoshida, and Matarame, too. They hurt and exploited others just to satisfy their desires. Still, there were people around them who noticed their terrible deeds, weren't there? I wonder why they turned a blind eye. Why doesn't anyone help? So it's because they don't have the courage. Humans are so weak. Humans. Hey, do you think I'll really be able to become a human when I touch the treasure? Some memories came back. I tried to force myself to forget, but I really may not be human. Talk about a lukewarm response. Now that I think about it, I gotta be human. I am the core of the Phantom Thieves after all. All right. Come on. It's not good for you to stay up this late. Let's go to sleep. Our master wishes to speak with you. Heed his words. You've defeated the repulsive fiend of gluttony this time. <laughs> well done. I am glad to see you have devoted yourself to your rehabilitation. You are not worthy of such kind words, inmate. I suggest you treasure them. Do you recall the whispers about that strange man? Even a chicken could remember something that important. Don't sound so cocky about it. This is about the cases of those people who shut down, is it not? Indeed. I speak of another with powers similar to yours. If you are to complete your rehabilitation, you may encounter him eventually. <laughs> Yet another thing for me to look forward to. It would be greatly troubling if you were to not strengthen your abilities. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. All right. It's time, inmate. Return to your world. Hello? It's me, Makoto. Were you sleeping? I assume it's okay if you're able to make such jokes. There's something I feel I should let you know. Kaneshiro contacted me. Kaneshiro? He said he's calling off our debt. 
It seems he's disposed of all the photographs as well. And, um, my sister and her team have taken him into custody. What? It appears they did not want him to disappear, if you know what I mean. His group was called a mafia, after all. I wouldn't put silencing him past them. Does this mean we were successful in changing his heart? It's hard to say for sure yet. I see. What about those psychotic breakdowns that Kaneshiro mentioned? I'm not sure. But I assume he was talking about the incidents that have been all over the news lately. It really may be related to the other person who has been entering palaces. True. That said, all we can do now is wait until Kaneshiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Thank you. Gee, I wonder if he had a change of heart. Hmm. Hi, everyone. Let's get started, class. How far did we get last? Uh, what do you mean you don't remember? I don't remember. You children well. are... Um, is this on? Miss Chuono, please come to the faculty office at once. What's going on? What could this be? Oh, I'm off to the faculty office, so make sure you study on your... Uh, yeah, don't worry, ma'am. We'll be taking care of that, but... What yeah. Do you Kawakami helping us again. Now you realize why I'm spamming that confidant so much. But today, Art of Charm. We kind of forgot about this book. Let's finish it. The XYZs of applying pickup techniques. Keep looking smooth even if you drop the ball. What's baseball got to do with this? Silly. Let's talk about basketball. That makes sense. So you finished the Art of Charm. <laughs> it was just a sleazy book about picking up girls. They'd have some good tips on being charming. Supposedly. Yeah, I would not pay attention to any of those types of books. Just tell the girl how you feel. And then when she rejects you, don't cry that much. I guess that's what he was talking about. Don't drop the ball. Don't let him see you, you tease, homie. What could that have been about? Oh. Well, let's just resume class. Uh, anyways, yesterday I said... <laughs> I imagine Miss Chuono goes off topic a lot. I had a lot of teachers like that. If you just ask them a question, it would just get them talking. And then you didn't have to learn nothing. And then you fail the exam. God dang it, why is my school... I think you may know this already. Eh? That I've been ordered by Principal Kobayakawa to look for the culprits. <gasps> Makoto, after all we've been through, you turned me in? No! Yes. I mean, the ones responsible for the calling cards. I ask that you try not to stand out for a while. By the way, I usually spend time in the student council room. If there's an emergency, feel free to come find me there. That sounds like someone's lonely in need of a friend. So, we're going to hang out with Ryuji and completely ignore Makoto. No, we got to hang out with her. I know it sucks, but no, seriously, we got to hang out with Makoto today. Assuming you're smart enough. That's right. Some confidants are judgy pieces of crap like Makoto. So if you are not level three in knowledge yet, Boy, oh boy, you ain't talking to Makoto, because you're just too dumb. That said, all we can do now is wait. We already know you had to change of heart, Makoto. What, what, what are you talking about? Do you need something on the third floor? Have you come to study the library, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, we don't do that no more. I mean, nah. Came to hang out with you. It seems your studies have paid off. Have you been working hard? Uh, kinda. Now we studied last night, and now we're smart enough to talk to her. Well, there's something I want to talk to you about. If it doesn't get in the way of your studies, that is. I think I'll manage. <laughs> yeah, lay it on me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now then, let's find somewhere better to talk. The courtyard should do. I'd like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kaneshiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat.
nicer. <laughs> All right. My first step will be to learn more about the other students. But I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. Really? I hope you're right. But I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? Karaoke, hmm? My friends have taken me there a few times. If possible, I'd like to go somewhere I'm a little less familiar with. How about an arcade? I've never actually been to one. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? I did it! So this is how it is. Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit. I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. Thank you. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the priestess persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power.
By the way, you went to the red light district when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, n not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. And just like that, Makoto's a gamer! Thanks for setting aside time for me today. I always find it hard to come to places like this on my own. So you've been a big help. I've had all kinds of new experiences today. And it's even been a little fun. Only a little, come on. But yeah, no, it was cool. Let's do it again sometime. Why not? Good idea. After all, there's clearly plenty more I can learn there. <laughs> but before that, we should go to the red light district. Like we discussed before? Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. Thanks. Not a bad day. All right, then. But I'm not gonna lie. Come on, Makoto. There's literal robots in this franchise that know what video games are. Like, girl, have some fun once in a while. Easier said uh, than done, though. She's got a stressful life, and god dang it, what now? Please, Jesus, just let me talk. Inmate. I trust you haven't forgotten about your special assignment. What? We'll be waiting for you in front of our door. We expect you to accept this task with enthusiasm. I don't... I don't feel like it. Okay, back to what I was saying. <gasps> what? Hey, you see that article? No, it's just Ryuji. Hey, bro. I haven't seen any article. What the frick are you talking about? Ah, it's an interview with some kid from the school. Boy M tells all. Rampant abuse in the Kamoshida case. Dude, that's what it said. It's mostly about the physical punishment. You think it Boy M is Mishima? Oh my god. Wait a minute. M could also stand for Makoto. Makoto and M, huh? So it's Miss President. Yeah. Wait, it says boy. It's got to be a dude. Plus, Miss President would never agree to a tabloid interview. True. It's probably fine to leave him be. He ain't doing us any harm. See you later. That article. Do you think the reporter we met at Crossroads could have written it? Just as I thought. The author is listed as Ichigo Oya. I see. This article might end up being useful for us. If the palace ruler sees it and his cognition of the phantom thieves changes... Hey, we'd be missing out if we didn't use this to our advantage. If we have her paint us in a positive light, public opinion of us will change for the better. You should go try and get her to write some more articles about the phantom thieves. Propaganda. That's the word you're looking for. Magana, I love what you're doing, but F that, that lady's scary. Instead, I'm gonna hang out with the other scary lady, Kawakami. Come on over, girl. This place is a mess. At least the attic is. He keeps it clean downstairs, but tonight we have to do a spend time event with Kawakami, even though we've done everything perfectly, answered every question to the best of our ability. Sometimes you gotta do these. Just the way it is, and okay, please come up your room and wait for- What the- that's your thing! Kawakami! Oh, she's just so silly, but... No, we have an awkward conversation. While she just folds her arms uncomfortably. It's my imagination or she's not look well. Uh-oh. Because my bond will grow sooner. I'll see you later then. God dang it. I don't know what's the truth and the lies. Is she really having a hard time or is it all... Just please request me! Uh. It's hard to tell with her, but... The heck, oh my god, the sound of our phone. Gee. What? Again? M Makoto, what do you want? Oh my god. I have a question regarding the red light district issue. Remember how I told you I wanted to go there? Well, how does today sound? You just told me yesterday. What? Well, I'm unfamiliar with the area, so I was hoping you would be able to guide me around. Can you make time for it? I guess. Yo, I'm going to be opening shop soon. So I'll need you to do the dishes once you're done with that. Uh, Roger. Will do, hey. sir. I guess we can respond once the dishes are done. Make sure you thank the chief for breakfast, okay? Yeah, of course I will. But I don't like the trap of... Alright, here's your breakfast. Now clean your plate and all these... <laughs> well, 
I guess it's fair, but uh, yeah. Today, we need to get a matching persona because the Priestess Arcana ain't gonna level itself. And I guess, hi Pixie, sorry, love the hairdo, but you gotta go. We need matching personas above all else. And luckily for us, we've had one for a long time, but before all that bull crap, we gotta get our drink on, yo. Smoothie girl, I missed you. It's been so long. I swear I'm not talking to other uh, drink stands, individuals. I've just been a little preoccupied. Give me this melon crap. Ugh! This kind of reminds me of kombucha. Do you guys like nice. it? I drink it almost every other week, I'd say. It sure don't taste good, but it sure don't taste bad. That's how I like to imagine this smoothie spin goes. But now that we got that, it's time to do some more. Where the frick is it? Might as well just exit out, come to think of it. We have to head to the velvet room to actually... Where the dump is it? Okay, there. Jeez, okay. Grab a Priestess Arcana Persona to help out with Makoto's confidant. After all, still doing that. <laughs> you two are just so cute. Uh, after all, Makoto would obviously like to hang out with somebody that uh, she sees something of herself in. AKA, we have to summon a lady <laughs> from our brain or heart, I guess. To make Makoto like this us more. Kind of strange how that works. If you don't have Silky, you're a Rapsaurus. I don't know if I can tell you, dude. There's tons of different personas. Really, any one of them will do. Some people are curious if a stronger persona makes a bigger difference. It does not, so don't worry about it. And <laughs> Makoto's such a dweeb. <laughs> okay, I'll be nice. Even on her days off, she hangs out at the school. I don't know. That's kind of funny, but I like the outfit. It's nice. All we gotta do is wait. About our trip to the red light district. Do you have time today? Yeah, that's kind of why I came here. I guess I never replied to the cell phone call. Uh, let's take the train there. Okay, sounds good to me. Morgana is gonna head out. I don't know how we're gonna regroup, but yeah, just the two of us. There's so many people here. I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently this place was a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed surveillance cameras. I heard there were quite a few brothels as well. Huh. I don't know what that is, but you seem to, and I think that's great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I heard a great deal about it from my father. Oh. It's the first time I've actually been here myself, though. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course the surveillance cameras played a substantial role in that. That's great. That was mainly thanks to the police efforts to clean up the area. But... Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. Yeah. It seems the operations nowadays are only hidden better. Shall we go? Anyway. Seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look. Okay, but stay close. This is not a nice place to be in. As Makoto's request, we walked separately through Shinjuku. Why would we do that? Oh, God. Countless men try to start conversations with her? Oh, gosh. Uh, did we lose him? I guess? That guy was so persistent. Oh, my. He must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. How cute are we talking? All I wanted to ask is if any Shujin students worked there, but he nearly dragged me inside with him. If you hadn't been there to rescue me, I probably would have killed a man. But yeah, this place sucks, even with the surveillance cameras. Yes. For him, maybe. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to knock him out. Dang. I'm glad nobody had to get hurt, though. True. It all worked out. I guess that's how they do it. I've learned something new today. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, and thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. No, oh, stop. I hope I can do the same for you someday. You already have, Makoto. Girl, you crazy. I saw you back up against Pigatron. You were like, <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we, uh, escorted, which I use with quotation marks because apparently that means something else nowadays. We helped Makoto see what Shinjuku's like during the day. That aside, even though this is a shopping district, 
There are absolutely no students around here. And definitely no Shujin students. Though I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either way. Yeah, we didn't either. Well then, let's turn over here and oh my... Uh huh? This <laughs> set of so silly. Oh my god! It's a Shujin student? In their uniform? Wow! Mm, that, that was... Did that, you notice this? I, I used to be in the same class as her. Whoa. But why is she here? Maybe the same reason we are? No, I doubt it. The after school salon? Oh my god. They couldn't pay for a second O. What a cruddy place. But yeah, why is it called that? I'm not sure. But it seems suspicious. Yeah. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh, and I'd like you to be there as my witness. Would that be okay? Uh, if I got the time. Yeah, I'll make time. This sounds pretty serious. Well, we spent quite a lot of time here. Let's head back to the station. But not before. More arcade. All right, then. Thank you for today. Don't sweat it, Makoto. I mean, yeah, you almost beat the crap out of somebody. If you didn't have me with you, you might be in probation also. <laughs> hey, um, I wanted to thank you again for tagging along today. You literally just did. That was the first time I've ever had to deal with a barker. I didn't know how they could be that persistent. Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess nothing beats practical experience. That's true. Seeing something firsthand is way more important than reading it in a book. Honestly, I realize I can't solve these problems on my own. And it took what happened today to make that clear. Hmm. And I also plan on looking into that Shujin student we saw there. It'd be great if you could help me with that sometime. For now, see you later. Alright, but... Seriously, be careful, Makoto. God, there's a bunch of scary people out there. Hate for something bad to happen to her. Even this city, despite us taking down that one Yakuza guy, like, shoot, how many are gonna fill his place? Hopefully zero, once this change of heart happens. But, yeah, I don't know. It's part of the game I don't like. It makes me feel weird, just cause, like, crud. This stuff really happens, man. It sucks, but, you know. You know, I've been curious. Huh? Boy, what you talking? What's Kosei like? Is it filled with guys like Yusuke? I imagine there's a lot of different people there. Now that you mention it, I have one very interesting classmate. She's a female shogi player, and seemingly quite the skilled one at that. Cool. Are you talking about Afumi Togo? I remember hearing she's a student in Kosei. They say she's the most beautiful shogi player around right now. Dang. Dude. That sounds too good to be true. Ah, come on, give me some info. She just did. I do not know much about her. She's not the kind of person to let others close to her. Aw. Sounds like she only focuses on her shogi pursuits. After all, it's said she is a lone genius. However, I've heard she's commonly seen at the church over in Kanda. For real? Oh my god, we gotta go, dude. You'll probably get struck down by lightning if you go in with that alter motive for you, <laughs> He can dodge it. Ah, that ain't it. Uh, this is for the Phantom Thieves. I mean, Shogi's uh, kind of bad, all right. She's got to know all sorts of insane strategies and stuff. I kind of get what you mean, but... Uh, that's quite the strat. <laughs> okay, then. Churches are supposed to be holy. Don't do this, Ryuji. Oh, you guys are going to pay for this one day. What? You got to spy for me, man. Come on. Find out she's really excuse as they say. <sighs> Let's ignore that idiot. Anyway, a shogi expert, huh? Striking an enemy with but a moment's inspiration? Skillfully strategizing toward victory? Those might actually be good tactics to know for our work as the Phantom Thieves. They said she's at the church in Kanda, right? We should check it out when you have the time. Yeah, I don't really... I don't really like the idea of spying on her. Maybe we could just try and be your friend, Ryuji. Uh, you can go there if you want, but... We're a little busy right. right now, so that'll have to be in the future, I guess. But, uh, hey, more options the better. And, hey, TV's good. Shut up, more guys. Anyways, for our event tonight, we're actually going over to the station square to hang out with our boy, Sunman Yoshida. And I, what the frick? Hmm? What the frick? 
Clones? What? Huh? I'll show you a worse fate than death. Living with your scenes! <laughs> but hey! Ha ha. Who are you imitating now? That's one heck of a quote. The Phantom Thieves. You gotta check them out, bro. What? The other guy didn't even talk. Why are they the same person? That's so weird. Anyways, hey, Yoshida. What's up, brother? Everyone. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Gotta talk to Sun, man. Repeat a lot of dialogue. Oh, hello. How does your schoolwork, boy? Don't even get me started. <laughs> I received a dinner invitation from Diet Man Matsushita. He would like you to come as well. Eh? Let me know if you'd like to attend. Boy, you know I'm going. Be delighted if you consider this as helping with my campaign and join me. Mm, free food. I'm interested. Right away, then. And I'll make the call. It'll be at a nearby hotel. Finally, this diet member thing is paying off. We get to eat! Wait, where are our plates empty? Uh, Kuramoto's been in and out of the hospital. I hear he's not going to run in the upcoming election. I see. Dang. He plans for his grandson, who is also in our party to take his place. Yes. Unfortunately, this is all beyond me now. But, what? Uh, Yoshida? <sighs> uh, hey. You have to keep eating. You're still growing, you know. Well, I don't got. I don't got. What? I invited you along because well, I want to ask you something. What do you think about the Phantom Thieves? Uh, well, you've heard of them, right? They're quite popular as of late. Yeah, maybe I, I've seen something about them. I'd like to hear your honest opinion. As a young man, are you for or against them? Well, I mean. In my totally unbiased opinion, yeah, they're the best thing ever. <laughs> you have a very adaptable way of thinking. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Most people who want to get into politics are jealous of them. What about you? However they manage to change hearts. I respect their belief in crushing evil and saving the weak. Is that similar to what you advocate for? I can't deny that. That's not why I support them. I bet they're a group of young people. Young people who have experienced cruelty and injustice. They bravely face the societal ills that plague our world without thinking of the consequences. Brave, yet pitiful, I suppose. So... The former Diet member who was disgraced by scandals is going to side with them, huh? Me, hopefully. Is this what you asked me here to speak of me about? No. The party has decided which candidate it will back in the various electoral zones. Hmm? And? One of our main candidates represent this area. According to the party's election strategy, you have no chance of winning. Hmm. So you're saying that I should give up my campaign to become a diet member? Is that it? I won't beat around the bush. Drop out of the election and become my right-hand man. It won't be for naught. I'll put a motion to have you reinstated as a party member. Dang. And I'll perform an extensive investigation into your expense misappropriation accusations. Yeah, that what? was a mouthful. Ma Matsushita? You'll finally be able to clear your name. Think about it. I'll see you again soon, Mr. Secretary. All right, but we didn't get uh, any... Oh. <sighs> he likely has an ulterior motive. If he felt hopeful, he wouldn't have asked me not to run for the diet. Yeah, something sus. I expect he's trying to take advantage of me. That happens a lot in this world. It's not a bad deal, though. What would you do at a time like this? Well, I'm probably popping a memento since, I mean, I don't know, man. Sometimes in life, you just gotta stick to your guns. Do what you wanna do, Yoshida. You're telling me to take control of my destiny, huh? <laughs> You're very inspiring. Oh, stop. Thank you. Thank you for telling me your honest opinion. Don't worry, I won't stop giving speeches. Heck yeah. 
Above all, I wish to continue speaking with you. You have such a fresh outlook on the world, and, well, <laughs> you know the rest. <laughs> oh, man. I love this guy. He really is such a just... I don't know. He's the man of the people. He's almost too perfect, but... Man, I can't lie. Seems like kind of a good deal. Getting back into the diet and all. Let's finish up for today. Sorry I made you tack along and, well, you know. I, shall ask I never you did get food. God dang it, I'm going to go to the ramen bowl. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, just put, just put some soup on our tray. I don't... Sorry I made you tag along again. Oh, I already said that two seconds ago. Well, huh. I'm sure you'll end up having to face something similar someday. So let me share my thoughts. All right, that's fair. When people come to you with these negotiations, you need to see what's really on the table. Do you see the offer as a risk or an opportunity? You'll have your own major decisions to make in time. The most crucial thing is that you don't lose sight of who you are. Dang, bro. So keep an eye on what's on the table. Yeah, we never got food. I'll keep that in mind. Good stuff. Good. It's important to listen to what others say, but you can't let them overpower your own voice. Yeah. I let that happen, and look where it got me. Ah, <sighs> uh, sorry. I Maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about this. <laughs> nah, it's cool, bro. Don't sweat it. Well, then... Until next time. Good night. All right, man. Hang in there, bro. You're gonna do good stuff one day. Eventually. Whew. I made it on time. I suppose I'm still safe if you're here. I can't be late today, too. No. I was up very early shooting a news show. I have much more work in television because of the Phantom Thieves. I have permission from my school, but it's still tough to do both. Uh, I can't keep complaining. Well, let's both do our best today. Yeah, I don't really feel like it, so, uh, you do your thing, I'm gonna do my thing. Which is just barely getting by. <laughs> uh, well, we'll do above so the median, I guess. It's so gross and humid, even though it's the end of June. Oh yeah, in Japan, when the rainy season ends, we say that it opens. But in English, it's more common to hear people say the rainy season comes to a close. Be careful! Keep that in mind. Expressions for the weather are totally different depending on what country you're in. Rather interesting. Now then, you. <laughs> I wanted to slack off today, no. How about which of these animals is involved in an English idiom about the weather? Well, it's dogs. You better know this one, boy. <laughs> That's right. Raining cats and dogs. Not snails. Raining cats and dogs means it's pouring rain. The strongest theory for its origin is that the sound of rain resembles that of dogs and cats fighting. Some other European languages describe bad weather as dog's weather, too. Dude. I already know this crap. I don't, I don't even know how to feign it. <laughs> interest. Come on. Mr. Chiwono, go on a tangent so we don't have to do work. <laughs> no, the class just started, though. Additionally, in Norwegian, they say it's raining witches. And in Polish, they say it's raining frogs. Each country has its own way of describing heavy rain. And its own metaphorical substitute falling from the sky. Dang. I don't care. Oh, yeah. Over here, they say when a cat washes its face... It rains. I wash my face every day, because I like being clean. And that's not true at all. Oh, uh, but, but I'm not a, I'm not a catch. Shut up! Alright. Boy, if you didn't read that random French novel, Morgana's character just really doesn't make any effing sense. I mean, anyways, today, guys, we're doing nothing. This is the end of the episode. But, it's been a long time since we walked around the school and, you know, seen what the population is up to. Now that Kaneshiro's at least out of the picture, Maybe some people are having a sigh of relief. Or maybe some people are going absolutely ballistic, like this girl right here. Hi. What a relief. Looks like that home-wrecking tramp is around here. After that artist, though, those fanthies might come for Ikuski-kun's heart. 
If they come, I'll show them no mercy. I'll make them bleed. It'll be a blood storm. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see you try, little miss freaking uh, cell phone. I'll put you to sleep. And then Makoto will attack you. And then she'll toss it to On. And she'll put you back to sleep. You get the picture, but... <laughs> Man. Having Kaneshiro out of the way means that this game is uh, going to get a lot better. I'm not going to lie. I like the upcoming summer season. Now that the rainy days are over, it's bright skies from here on out. Kinda. I mean, we still got to talk to, you know, some cruddy confidants, but <laughs> you didn't hear that from me. Anyways, thanks again, guys, for checking out this episode. Hope you're having a good day. And you know what? I'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Persona 5 Royal. Where we start a very, very, uh, interesting confidant. Oh boy. See you guys then. Bye.